I will show you how to calculate lattice constant from XRD diffractogram. Go and click on gadget. Go to the third option. Click on quick fix. A new window will pop up. Simply click on OK. You can see a new shaded area. Click on this area. Then you will see a points on the right and left side. Select the point on the right and drag it so that it will cover all five peaks. You can see the peak center for these three peaks. Whereas for these two peaks, there is some overlapping. So just double click on this shaded area. First go to the baseline. In the baseline, you can see the different option. Click on the full plot. And then you can see option for threshold and the maximum anchor point. So let's tune this anchor point to say 10 and apply. Uh, over here you can see uh, connect method. So I will be choosing spline and apply. Okay. Then go to the find peak. In find peak you can see there is two options. One is a local point. So tune this number to say 10. Tune this threshold height to 50. Apply and then click OK. So now we can see we got the peak center for all five peaks. Click on this arrow and go to the new output. Just click over here. Now go ahead and minimize this window. Maximize this one. So over here you can see all five peaks. Full width half maxima as well as uh, peak center. So these are the peak center for all these five peaks. Now we have to use a Vistra software to simulate the XRD diffractogram. For this we need a CIF file of nickel oxide. If you are not familiar with how to use Vistra software, or you don't know how to get the CIF file, now please check out my other videos. The links are given in the description box. So here I have NIF CIF file. Drag it to the Vistra software and you will see a unit cell of nickel oxide. Now where to generate XID out of this nickel oxide unit cell? How to do that one? Go to utility and then you will find option for powder diffraction pattern. So click over here. A new window will pop up. In this window, you can go to the conditions. In the condition, initially it shows number of wavelength is 2. So reduce it to 1. And here we need to type the wavelength which is 0 0.82656. And then click on calculate. Go to the plot. This is the XRD diffractogram, which is similar to what we have in our hand. Go to the reflection list. And here you will see the values for 2 theta, which is 19.776 for the 111 plane, then 22.87 for 200. Now our job is to tune these numbers such that these numbers will match with the peak center calculated from the XRD diffractogram. How to do that one? We can tune the lattice constant. Click on the NIO, go to click on edit, edit data, unit cell. And over here you will find the lattice constant. So let's tune this number 822. Okay. And apply. After this, go to the reflection list and click again on the calculate. So once you click, then you will see the change in the number. So now it's become 19.7104, which is pretty close to what we see from the experimental XRD diffractogram. You can match with some other number like 22.81, this is the second peak, then 32.47. So let's go back, this is 22.79, close to 22.8, this is 32.46, then is 38.26, and the last one is 40.03, this is 40.03. So although these numbers are not exactly matching with the number what we have from the peak, for that what you need to do is, you need to tune your lattice constant again and again so that it will perfectly match with your peak center. You go to the edit, edit data and the unit cell. So over here you can find the value which is close to 4.18220. Although this is not the exact value, if you want to get an exact value, you need to perform retroid refinement. I have already uploaded an videos on how to do retroid refinement by using GSS2 software. A link is given in the description box. I hope through this video you learn how to roughly instrument lattice constant from diffractogram. Please do like, share and subscribe so that the video will be reached out to the new XRD user. And please don't forget to press the bell icon button 